I'll spare you the random chit chat today. You don't want to know how I'm doing? No, I don't, Andrews. We have a very big case on our hands that has just begun to develop. What is it this time? Crazed doctors, maniacal maniacs, deadly assassins, crazy hippies? Andrews, this one falls under the maniacal lunatics category. His name is Philo Adler, better known as the Cinephile. Looks like a two-bit geek to me. That's not true at all, Andrews. Why, just last night, Cinephilo pulled off one of the most daring heists that this city has ever seen. What did he do? Find a way to steal some other guy's girlfriend? No, Andrews. He robbed the Perfect Purchase electronics store. Stop! I have the DVD! He left a DVD at the crime scene, Andrews. This is what he does. He leaves DVDs at the crime scene of his homemade movies to mock the police. So, uh, Stark, should I put, put it in? Put in the DVD, Broccoli. Andrews, come watch this. I feel you need to see this. The Perfect Purchase, a store that sells more than just movies. They market entertainment at high prices, prices that are in fact harmful to the consumer. How will the world be able to enjoy the magic of a movie if they are abused by the retailer in the process? They won't have to anymore. Now you see them, now you don't. Huh? This is just part one of my little crime series. Things are about to get a lot more serious. Jeez, that should have won the Oscar. Andrews, this is not a joke. I'm putting you in charge of finding Cinephilo and bringing him to justice. Yep. Hey, Broccoli, where is that pepperoni pizza that I ordered? It should be here soon. There's a 30 minute guarantee. Stuff your guarantees in a sack, Broccoli. Get out of here and don't come back until the pizza's here, alright? <sighs> I want that pizza. I'm in apple juice heaven! So then he says I'm in charge of the Cinephilo case. How would I know about a guy who leaves movies at his crime scenes? Well, where are you going to find the first set of clues? At the bottom of the bottle, of course. J-Man's Lounge is a $2 on draft deal. Good luck, Andrews! Thanks, buddy. Now it's time to find some brews at the J-Man's Lounge. I thought there were two dollar drafts tonight. What's up with this? I need some beer. Ah, I found some real evidence here, I think. That's a bomb lounge? What the hell kind of a title is that? Doesn't make any sense, jeez. Oh. What's this all about?
the J-Man Lounge, known for its good times and good entertainment. I tried to bring a little movie magic to these people through a few monologues during an open performance night. Ten and out of way. And I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. We're going to be heading into France in a few hours, dressed as regular people. We're going to be doing one thing, one thing only. Killing Nazis. Because Nazis ain't got no humanity. I was rushed off the stage in favor of acoustic guitars. Movie monologues put before acoustic guitars. Madness! Someone told me, hey, J-Man's Lounge, you'd like it there. That place is pretty bomb. I guess that guy was right. What happens next? Well, wait for the big premiere and you'll find out. What? Screw it, I'm going to the movies. brought my niece, Fran, Frangelico. Agent Andrews, Willie and mine are just lucky. Well, now you are neither. To quote one of my favorite films, it's a trap. Enjoy this film, Andrews, because it will be your last. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm being forced to watch this movie. Andrews, you were supposed to capture Gin Drinker. Now he may be plotting something else. He was supposed to find the art, bring in the criminals. What did you do? You killed them. <laughs> you fight! Get out of my sight! Get him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. 